did. I stayed all night. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm now I'm really mad that I wasn't able to be there. Oh, man, I actually knew I was, and I was on vacation with my wife, but you know, it just worked out. You know what, man? Yeah, you got to make it. Which one do you want me on this one? Either one? It's all good. Cool. You know what? I'll do blue. I'll do blue. Just, just feeling more in a blue mood? Yeah. Casey James celebrated blue me uh, blue period. <laughs> Could say that someday. Well, no, actually, you know, just having said that, I'm actually bummed that I wasn't able to see you when you came in for the Eagles Nest show. But hopefully, I was on I was on vacation. You got to do that, man. You yeah. got to do that. But you know what? Uh, hopefully, I'll be back uh, soon, and we'll get you get to catch the whole thing. Yeah, you what I actually saw a little bit of uh, of you live. Um, it was here, I guess. It, didn't you play? Was it Margaritaville during yeah, seminar yeah. during country radio seminar? So I sure got to was. see you there. So, but at that point, you didn't know what your single was going to be because that was back in March, and your single's out now. And mm -hmm. I'll be honest with you. I mean, having seen because I watch American Idol, and having seen it on on American Idol two years ago, it wasn't what I was expecting. And I and I, I mean that as a compliment. It was yeah. it was so cool and bluesy. I didn't expect that. Well, thank you, man. You know, it's it's an interesting dynamic to come from a from a situation where you kind of have to do. You have to do what uh, what you have to do, mm -hmm. you know, and and it's a great platform and it's a great thing, and uh, you know sometimes it it can give people uh, a great taste of what's to come, and sometimes you don't know because you know it's just so random. Is like boot camp being on that show? Oh, absolutely. like showbiz boot camp because that's that's what it's always struck me as. Well, you know, it just sets you up and, and prepares you for a lot of things that you're gonna come in contact with and things that you know I knew nothing about business like uh you know the showbiz mm -hmm. type business end of it all i knew how to do was set up a pa and play music you know? <laughs> I mean, like, there was no uh lawyers yeah there's no agents business management agents management lawyers record label promo guys right. radio folks you know uh everything you and know? Now, now that you've seen all that are you terrified of the, no, of the path you that know, you've chosen it's just it's it's it's, it, it's exact same thing I, I said it the other day it's just the exact same thing. It's it's relationships with, mm -hmm. with people. It's just on a different level, you know? You did something that I find unique and actually very cool because a lot of times, and I mean no disrespect to anybody that's ever come off Vital or any other TV show like that, but a lot of times you get the sense that they come off that show and the you, you got to strike with the iron's hot, oh, yeah. make a quick buck, and it, you can tell that that person might not be quite ready for it, whereas yeah. you were on the not on the shelf, but you were a year removed from being on American Idol. Even though you got your record deal shortly after it ended, yeah. it was north of a year before you had a single out, and I think that was actually kind of smart because it probably well, gave you. you some time. It was the, you know, the idea of it is to, they said, you know, we want to promote you as an artist, as though we, we found you before American Idol. Right. And I said, you know what, thank you because... I'd hate for those 12 years and and that I've been playing live in bars and in restaurants and every other place mm -hmm. that I could, um, wouldn't go to waste. In other words, don't and I, I don't mean any like you said, don't mean any disrespect, but don't treat me like I'm a contestant on a, on a show or a commodity or a commodity. Please, you know, give me the uh, allow me to be to be an artist mm -hmm. and. and you know, maybe I, I may have lost some record sales and some some heat and all that stuff by waiting, but I I would rather work to build it back up than to to do it that the other way. Uh, and, and like I said, I think it's smart because a lot of times you've seen somebody come, you know, not just necessarily from American Idol, but from any type, any similar kind of a thing, and yeah. poof, they you never hear from them well, again. Yeah, and you might you might have some you might have some decent some success coming right off. Right. But. You not know, longevity. Then, then it's going to be really difficult for people to see you as anything but that. Right. You know what I mean? And, and I kind of feel like maybe because we've waited that people will understand that this is my intention is to be around for the next until I die. Let me put it that way. You know well, what that's, I mean? Isn't that everybody's intention to be around until they die? Well, musically. <laughs> musically. <laughs> musically. So, you know, I, I, I just want to continue to play and, and continue to, to perform and and if I have the uh, the ability, then I'd like for people to, to hear it, you know? And people now have, and I find it interesting that uh, it was, I can't remember if it was the, last year at the CMAs or this past spring at the ACMs, they had you coming around, yeah. you know, and we hadn't heard anything. We knew who you were, obviously. Right, there was, there certainly, was no music. Certainly anybody that had watched American Idol remembered you, but there yeah. wasn't anything to talk about necessarily music-wise, but now Let's Don't Call It A Night is out so we can say, aha, yeah. okay, he has he has the singing voice still a year after being on television. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm so excited. The, the record's coming out soon, and I'm so excited to think about the fact that everyone will have more than just one song, right. and you can actually get a sense of of who I am musically and what it is that I do. You know. And I'm so, guessing that that that's the farm. I think. Sounds like it. You can't do that, can you? 
Well, with just one voice, <laughs> it would be really difficult. <laughs> We're just about out of time. But, Casey, come back and see us again anytime. Love to, this man. time I'll make sure to not be on vacation when you come to town. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> see you next time.